how we doing today guess what we're getting ready to do <laughs> we're getting ready to get in line yep this line and uh, yeah I walked down and checked this place out kitchen to kippy kitchen to kippy springs which flows into Indian Lake up here in the uh, upper peninsula Pennsylvania uh, uh, Michigan Michigan's upper peninsula and um, yeah, I'm fixing to get in this long, long line. <laughs> Uh-oh, what do we got here? <laughs> yep, yep. Had a roadblock here for a second. But yeah, I come up here and I get in the back of the line. And, uh, oh, mercy. It took uh, about, about an hour and a half to get through this line. Uh, maybe not quite, about a little over an hour. Hour and 15 minutes, maybe. Something like that. So, all for you people. All for you. I had a good enough look. I, wa I walked down there and just looked at the pool. That was good enough. This line was to get, be able to get on a little boat and, and raft across. So, here we go. <laughs> We're getting in line. Oh, mercy. Um, Yeah, what this is, it's a, it's a spring-fed spring -fed, uh, pool. And I guess a lot of gallons of water come through it. And um, it actually fills this big lake called Indian Lake. And you can, you can do it, Kitchen to Kippy uh, Springs. Um, just do a Google or a, 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 a Google Earth, you know, something like that. And you can see where it's at and what, it's, what, I'm, what I'm talking about. Here we're loading up. This is finally what we got down here. After about a little over an hour standing in line, and I finally got our turn to get on get on board and uh there's nobody in charge as far as like uh you know park ranger or something like that this is a uh, uh i believe this is a, a state park i think it was national i think it was a state park up in michigan but anyway um uh there was nobody in charge like a ranger or somebody that was actually driving the boat actually you get on and just somebody voluntarily decides to turn the wheel <laughs> and you turn this wheel and I'll, I got a better shot of it later on here but you turn this wheel and it, there's a cable that goes across the 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 the, the, the uh, pool there's a cable that goes across that pool and uh, as you roll this wheel it it pulls you across this cable <laughs> and gets you across the lake it was a pretty cool, pretty cool little setup all right, let's jump on. Here we are. We're on board, and uh, the awning is real ha real handy because it gets rid of the glare on the glass, on the, on the not the glass, but the uh, perfectly smooth water. And that's what it is. That right there is about 40 feet of water, and that water is so clear, you can see all the way to the bottom. Yep, and if you look, those are fish. I asked somebody what they were. Somebody thought they were... Uh, brown trout or um, lake, lake trout or brown trout but they were big I mean some of them were about three feet long most of them about two two and a half some of them look like they're about three feet long big old fish 
So, and what you see here, different areas, like off to the right there, some sticks and everything. What that's, uh, oh, you know, trees that have, storms have knocked them over and knocked them into the pool. And they just slowly fell over and slowly rotted away. But I think the rot, the decay process is pretty slow around here because it's, uh, it's cold, cold water. And right there, I'm pointing at one of the pool, one of the, uh, this, uh, the, 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 Whirlpools, or whatever you want to call it, where the uh, where the uh, uh, the spring comes up out of the ground, and it, it looks like uh, uh, it's it's great right there, right in that area, right there. Um, it's sand, and the water comes up through that sand, and it makes the sand kind of churn and boil, looking. You know, it looks like it's boiling. And it's not, it's just, you know, water coming through the sand and disturbing the sand. So, yeah, look over here. This is a better view of the, of the logs and stuff that have fallen in. And that, yeah. from the shore, yeah. yeah, here we are going across here. I forgot about this part. <laughs> That's all fast motion stuff going across there. Just just, just give you an idea where we, how, how it worked. Let me get up here and look at these logs. That log's floating, and that's its shadow down below. And uh, that it's about a 45 degree angle from the from the shore right on the edge down to where the 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 shadow is at the bottom. That's like a 45 degree angle. I mean, you couldn't stand on it. I you know you'd, you'd swim over the edge and have to crawl out somehow. And right there's a fish. Oh, well, it's hard to see. I can see it with my eyes, but it's hard to see. But anyway, there's a fish down there. And all that moss growth. But the, the water was just so, that's what's so special about this place. The water is just so, so crystal clear. Like I say, you're, you're looking down through about 40 some odd feet of water. And here's going, I looked over the, I, I have a selfie stick. I was way up above these people, so I wasn't like right on them, you know. Uh, Come back around here and look down. And there's no glass here. That's just, you know, you can jump right into that water right there. Um, there's no glass. It's just the way this the way this pontoon uh, barge, whatever, is built. I'm sure it's all made with styrofoam for flotation. But there's those fish. Man, they're just, they're huge. They're just, I would, I would love to put a, put a, a hook in the water. <laughs> but apparently it's highly illegal. <laughs> they don't want you fishing there. But uh, oh, wonderful camera work here, ain't it? Yeah, I was just kind of walking around and trying to think of different angles. And I wished I, I have a selfie pole, a big long selfie pole. I'm trying to get pictures of that of the of the, uh, of the information boards there. But it's just rainwater goes down through and becomes a spring and it just happens to come up right here and it, it was a pool, you know, and it just started, it, it, it filled up that pool and then eventually flowed out. It flows out of that pool down a little stream, just a short distance, like a half mile maybe, into this big, huge lake, really large lake, um, and it's called Indian Lake. And there's all kinds of uh, folklore or stories or whatever. Of, of how it got its name, Kitch to Kippy, Kitch you, Kitch it to Kippy, okay, Kitch to Kippy, and it, it's uh, native and native uh, uh, Indian language, and um, I'm not sure which tribe. There it is. You can really see it boiling right there. Yeah, it just it was cool. Yeah. Just about the time you can see it boiling, I pulled the camera away, didn't I? <laughs> but look how clear that water is. It's just, it's almost spooky how clear it is. But I was reading up on it and there was all kinds of different uh, uh, rumors or wives tales or, you know, whatever, uh, legends of how it got its name. Kitchen to Kippy, uh, I think means uh, uh, big, big water or something like that. Uh, and, and, but apparently uh, um, an Indian brave 
tr uh, wanted to get the attention of this uh, Indian Indian uh, maiden, and uh, her being a little coy, being maybe the chief's daughter or something like that, she says, "Well, if you go out there and wade in that water and, and for for uh, like all day or something like that," she, it was something like that. I don't remember it. It was it was it was it was a legend. I was reading up on it, and. Uh, Apparently, he went out there and waited in this water all day long, and <laughs> she was back at the, uh, back at the, uh, uh, at camp, <laughs> and they were sitting there kind of laughing about him, you know, uh, you know, old dummies out there trying to impress me by, you know, wading in that water, or, or, or shredding water, I guess, you know, swimming in that water. And apparently he drowned or something, and that's where the, the word kitchen to kippy comes from. Here's that big wheel I was telling you about. And this guy, this guy in the yellow hat, he... Captain and first mate here. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, he took it upon himself to be the one wheeled that. He wheeled it all the way across and, and all the way back, you know. And I watched other, other uh, people, you know, other groups went out there. And a lot of them just went halfway out, just over the over the bubbling springs. And this guy, he, he went all the way across. <laughs> God bless him. He, he wheeled all the way across that thing for us. So, and that's once you get over to the, uh, when you dock, you push that little lever and it latches and locks it in so it can't move, I guess. But, uh, yeah, here's that wheel. All right, we're getting on, back to the fire. other end. Now he's, he's come turning. On, come on. Fire. <laughs> and I don't know how hard he's pulling on there. It looks like he's giving a good little, good little tug. You know, it's not, it's not light. You know, but then again, it's perfectly still water. It doesn't take much to move a big barge in, in water. You know, so. Here I, I, I lean over and I get try to get a, a view of these wheels, how it works and everything. As he turns, it turns these wheels and it just it pinches on that cable there, and uh, that's how it goes across. You know, just it, it basically it's like pulling a cable. But it's just that water is just unbelievably clear, and there was a bit of a breeze that day, a bit of a breeze and. Uh, there's ripples on the water, but if it's a calm day, I guess it's just like glass, and it's just super, super reflect. I mean, you know, easy to see down through there. So, now was it worth standing in line? It's Labor Day weekend, you know. Was it worth standing in line for uh, about an hour and 15 minutes or something like that? You know, uh, I did it for you folks. Now, if it wasn't. If it wasn't for making a video, I wouldn't have stood in line. I walked down there and stood on the shore and looked out into it and left. But uh, I've talked to other people that, that, well, people were standing in line I, and other people that live up in that area. And they uh, they said, oh, yeah, you can come up here sometimes. And there's nobody here. It's just completely, you know, quiet. It just happened to be because it's Labor Day weekend. And it was a beautiful day. It was, it was uh, Saturday, the Saturday of Labor Day weekend. So I guess that'd be what September third, something like that. So anyway, we're about ready to dock. He brings her in hard. Slow her down, Captain. Slow her down. Oh. <laughs> oh well. All right, as people start to get off, uh, you, you might hear me say, you know, wave at the camera, wave at the camera. There was a couple, a, a family, that I was talking to while I was in line, and super, super nice people. Super, super nice people. And uh, um, got to talking with them, and, and uh, yeah, you're seeing it here in a little bit. You see the husband, and you see the mother, and then their, their kids are off there beside them. But they're just super nice people. I talked to them pretty much the whole time. I talked their ear off. <laughs> but they talked back, you know, they, they uh, we, we, we had a good, good little, it made the time pass pretty fast. You know, didn't seem like an hour and a half. There he is. And there's his wife waving. And then the kids are kind of over there beside him.
Good times. Good times. <laughs> All right, so we get. Uh, I, I get ready to get off this thing, and I uh, walk up the other end of the uh, uh, back up to the parking lot. And of course, as we get off here, guess what? Uh, you gotta have a souvenir shop. So yeah, they got a souvenir shop, and I get in here and I, I ask permission to walk around in there with the camera. And uh, I just basically make a lap in there. Typical souvenir shop, you know, magnets and keychains and ball caps and that kind of stuff. So anyway, uh, that was a Kitchen Kippy Springs up in uh, the peninsula, uh, Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we will see you down the road uh, at another. I got I got more videos coming, folks. I got more videos coming. Y'all be good. Take care.